I'm Nikki from Indo Asian News Service. Three threads were clear in your talk coronavirus, supply chains, and the downgrades generally. Is it possible for you to thread these three themes and comment on the Indian market? India is, uh, you know, geographically, you know, uh, you know, close to, to China, but I understand that there is a lot of, uh, you know, um, steps that are being taken, you know, to prevent, uh, you know, a massive contagion. We're seeing this across uh, across Asia, right? So, uh, uh, you know, the risk, I guess, is there, but uh, India can, you know, so, one, one of the results of this uh, episode is that because China is growing less and demanding less, producing less temporarily, there is less demand for, for commodities and commodity prices are, have declined, oil prices have declined. So some countries that are net oil importers, including India, and I put there Turkey as another example, and, uh, and South Africa, actually do face a positive terms of trade shock, you know. So there is something, you know, quote unquote good coming out of, you know, this this bad situation. Uh, so there is some some temporary relief, you know. Uh, but uh, so you know there's maybe some something something uh, you know a, a, you know positive uh, uh, for for a period of time. Um, I would say that uh, the 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 economic link, however, between India and China is still rather modest. So when we talk about uh, the beta of growth of you know if if China's growth declines by half a point or one one full point, you know how much that affects other parts of the of the of the world. Um, India is not topping the charts in terms of that beta. You know, topping the charts actually is countries that are well, the rest of Asia that are quite linked to to supply chains. You know, are obviously much more on the fore, on the front lines of that uh, negative impact. But all, you know, even countries in Latin America that are exporting commodities to China are also in the front line. You know, of, of that impact. So, so I would say that you know, in a way, um, I don't think that uh, India is the the is the the biggest, you know, quote unquote, casualty of this episode, and uh, and I think that Indian markets uh, are probably going to be trading more on domestic dynamics, domestic factors, rather than on uh, uh, you know what we're discussing here about the global, you know, um, shock, or, you know, uh, coronavirus uh, uh, shock and the impact on on, on, on global growth. Even before this episode, obviously there's been a deceleration trend in the Indian economy, you know, but this has nothing to do with <laughs> coronavirus, you know. So I think that again, I would say domestic issues are more relevant to understand the, the dynamics of Indian markets and the Indian economy these days than this global um, than this global shock. If anything, there's something positive coming from low oil prices, which India imports.